definition are a systematic method of observation and palpation to determine fetal position, presentation, lie, and attitude for the purpose to determine fetal presentation and position and the expected location of the point of maximal intensity of fetal heart rate in the woman's abdomen. Special considerations, obese clients have thick belly fat which can also obscure the findings. Patients who are polydramnous may give the examiner a little difficulty. However, assessment and rechecking of another nurse and intervaginal examination, i.e., can help to confirm the findings. First, you need to wash your hands to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Good day, Mom. My name is Rachel Nueva Mahinay. I am a student nurse and may I know your name, Mom? Okay, Miss Anne, this uh, I will gonna be performing the Leopold's maneuver. The purpose of this is to determine fetal presentation and position and the expected location of the point of the maximum intensity of fetal heart rate. But, Mom, before we begin, you can go to the comfort room and empty your bladder first. Thank you. Next position, the woman's supine, with knees slightly flexed, place a small pillow or rolled tower under one side. And then, break the patient to maintain privacy. Warm hands first by rubbing them together before placing them over the woman's abdomen. First maneuver is the fundal grip. Palpate the superior surface of the fundus, determine the consistency, shape, and mobility. Rationally, to determine what position of the fetus lies in the fundus. Head feels round and hard, freely movable and palatable. Bridge feels large, nodular, and softer. The second maneuver is the umbilical grip. Palpate the sides of the uterus with left palms stationary on the left side of the abdomen to steady the uterus. The right palpates the right side of the uterus on circular motion from the top lower segment of the uterus applying gentle but deep pressure to palpate the fetal outline and small fetal parts. Rationally to determine which direction the fetal head is facing. If one hand feels a smooth, hard, long, Continu continuous structure is the back. If the other hand feels the nodular angulation, it is the extremities of the fetus. For the third maneuver, the pelvic grip. Gently grasp the lower portion of the abdomen, chest above the symphysis, pubis, between the thumb and index finger, and try to press the thumb and your index finger together. Rationally determines the presenting part and its mobility. If the presenting part moves upward, so an examiner's hands can be pressed together. The presenting part is engaged, not firmly settled in the pelvis. For the fourth maneuver, the pelvic grip. First, the nurse faces the feet of the client. Second, place one hand each on the either, si the either side of the lower pole of the uterus. Third, palpate the fetal head by pressing downward about 2 inches above the inguinal ligament. Fourth, use both hands. This maneuver determines fetal attitude and degree of fetal extension into the pelvis. This should be done only if fetus is in cephalic position. Next, place your client in a comfortable position to ensure safety and comfort of the client. Next, document procedure and assessment, findings, and the client's response to the procedure. Rationally, documentation serves as a means of communication and basis of care and evaluation of patient's outcome. Lastly, wash hands to prevent the spread of microorganisms.